Hello everybody, I want to share with you guys a really cool project we're working on in the shop today. We have a 1967 Corvette Stingray. We are going to be adding a Stinger stripe to the hood. So we're going to do a vinyl stripe very similar to the factory one. I believe the factory was painted in 67, but I want to show this car to you guys in a little bit so you can see exactly what we're working with. This thing is super clean. I believe the owner said it was restored at one point. I'm not a Corvette guy, so I'm not sure exactly what parts in this car may not be uh, factory, but it looks to me like it was a, a stock restoration and it looks awesome. So on the front of the car, um, we're gonna be doing the stripe down the center of the hood. It goes on the scoop, basically lines up with where that chrome trim piece is, and then it comes down on the inside and it comes onto this front piece. So actually the gentleman left us a book that shows us exactly what he wants, which is a cool idea. Look how clean the inside of this car is. It is unbelievable. It looks like straight out of 67 off the showroom floor. So he was nice enough to share with us a couple of different pictures. We're going to look it up online too. I found some dimensions of it earlier. But see that one there. There's an up close shot of the pinstripe. Yeah, so this shot actually shows you exactly how that comes into the curve by that chrome trim piece. So pretty cool. I'm very happy he left us this. Makes our life a little bit easier. So I think we're going to be able to leave the chrome trim in place when we do this around the scoop, uh, but we are going to try to remove this emblem, which the gentleman told us is just two nuts on the underside. I think we should be able to get to it. So we'll film a little bit of the process and show you the finished product. Like the, the vinyl doesn't want to stick to the tape. So when the vinyl gets to this point when I'm laying the stripe, um, should be able to let it slide down into this groove a little bit better so I can get a nice clean cut down inside of there and you won't see any silver. We cleaned off the hood area a little bit and we're just going over it with uh, isopropyl alcohol, just straight alcohol. Um, that way it gets all, any waxes and things, usually does a good job of stripping it. The only exception to that is if the car is like ceramic coated or something, um, generally vinyl is not gonna hold very well. You usually have to polish it, but we don't have to do that with this car. Okay, so when it comes to this stuff, there's really, it might sound stupid, but there's really no rhyme or reason here. Um, it's mostly eyeballing. I'm going to measure some stuff when I'm done eyeballing just to make sure that it's right. But it's all about laying it down and seeing if it looks straight. 20 inches, 32. So what we're going to do is just um, lay out the main stripe on the top part and then we're going to put in some spacers and lay that, that thin eighth inch pinstripe afterwards. I'm going to do one on each side. It's going to come down to a point in the front. I think it'll look pretty good. So we're just going from that metal trim. We have to go over the back though, around that lip. So go ahead and give it a good, good tug both directions. Okay, go ahead down over it. Pull that middle filament out. And wherever it goes, it cuts. So we're going to do the pinstripe down the side of the stinger stripe now. Instead of doing that like we did with the main stripe with the knifeless tape, we are going to use the plotter to cut a perfectly straight pinstripe. The main reason for that is when you're doing the striping by tape, 
you, it's all by hand, so it's really, really hard to get it perfectly straight. Number two is with how thin this pinstripe is, it's about an eighth inch. Um, it's gonna be really tough to lay tape down on each side of that and still have enough material in contact with the hood to pull the tape out, if that makes any sense. So we're gonna go ahead and do it on the software. You could also use, I guess, a roll of actual pinstripe material, which is basically just vinyl cut down. I don't have a roll of it, so we're just gonna cut strips. So behind me is the completed stinger stripe on the 67 vent we've been working on today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed watching the process. Be sure to like this and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks a lot.